I went in the room. I was like, I know what I want to do when I grow up. He was like, what? I was like, I want to be in the NBA. He was like, ha, that probably won't happen. <laughs> You'd be amazed how many how many blessings you missed because you wasn't aware that it was right in your face. Hey, bro, if you, if you know the, if you know the truth, then you know. Yeah. Most people just don't know the truth. They yeah. don't know what happened. We get to talking, I go talk deep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just a lot of information that people don't know. I got all this in my phone. I, I be see. Yeah, I you be, be on it. Yeah. Yeah. Black made back, white seats, black piping. Remind me of Paul McCartney and Mike fighting. <laughs> You feel that? All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Maybach Conversations. And today we got one of the big bosses in the building, Corey SSG. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Y'all know, you know what it is. <laughs> All right, yeah. so this is an entertainer, serial entrepreneur, YouTube star. Yeah. I mean, man, I, I seen you on YouTube before we met at uh, Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah the car, uh, car show. show. Yeah, smooth. You came up diamond up, yeah, crazy. Man, you know, I was like that just new <laughs> popping my shit. You know, just being me, man. I'm glad you say pop your shit, cause we gonna pop a bottle to your success, brother. That's what I mean. We gotta start the show off right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, that's love, there. Yeah. All right, rose or uh, blue? Shit, and listen, whatever you choose. All right, bet. Fuck, we gonna start off with the rose. Got shot to Rose, man. Shot Rick Ross. The boss. You already know. Boss. Shout out to Rick Ross with the bear lab, man. I keep it going. I don't pop about five or six of these bear labs right. already. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't yeah. even doing more way. We doing the bear lab, baby. It is. That's the only way to go, man. We out here in Miami with it too. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get support to the dog. Man, Ross. Corey, my first guest in Miami. So we gotta make it a good show, you know? We get to it. <sighs> yeah, I just got here at that. Just got here. Big ass said G in Miami come take over. It's over with. You already know. Pop Perfect. bottle. Yes, sir. I bought the back of the Maybach with the damn champagne bottles. Something light. Nowhere near light. Man, these glasses, man, you know, hey, these glasses are $1,500 that? each, bro. Very, bro. Crazy. It's an upgraded package. <laughs> $3,000 champagne glasses, man. That's how we doing it. Hey, well, listen, at least we know we living in style. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I really live like this and where I come from. Man, listen. Any day. We blessed, though, right? Nah, I'm highly, I'm highly blessed. Highly 100%, blessed. 100% blessed. Man, so we're going to get into it. First of all, congratulations on your success, brother. Like, well, I appreciate you, brother. Let's do it. All right, let me get my desk out. Yeah, this is my office, man. This is my work car, you know. <laughs> he said like my office. My office. <laughs> <laughs> you probably shit already. Man, hard. you know what? A little something, something. Trying hey, to be bro, like I, you. I love it, though. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> That's the motivation right there. All right, brother. First off, tell the people where you from and how old you are. Uh, I'm originally from uh, Alabama. I was born in Montgomery. And okay. I was raised in Bullock County, which is like four to five minutes from Montgomery. And um, I'm 25 mm. years old today, so. Damn. Yeah, 25 man. years old, popping it like that. 25, man. I've been doing this since a long time. I mean, since I was a young kid, I've always been inspired, bro, just the way I was raised. So I tell people aging them with a number. Right, exactly, 100%. You know, you know, it's all about the, the wisdom you have. That, exactly. It, it takes somebody to put it in you, man, it take, for you to listen. And if you listen, you'll be amazed how far that wisdom will take you over your age, though. For sure. And you got to want to have that success because a lot of people don't want it. No, nah, facts. A lot of people think <laughs> they're going to come to them. You got to go out and get it. Exactly. 100%. So how did you grow up? So I know you just said you mentioned how you grew up. How, how was the environment growing up in? Shit, yeah, man. Where I'm from, bro, it's 3,000 people. That's the population. Bullet yeah. County. Bullet County, Alabama. <laughs> uh, 3,000 some people. I mean, we're in the country. So, I mean, I grew up struggling my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it never was just pleasant. Um, and I lost my sister in the house fire. Uh, oh so man, I was like six years old. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, like that way really kind of like just like you know shook my life up a little bit because I mm. watched it happen. Like well, for me, I probably would have died in the house. I saved my grandma, who just us three. The house caught on fire. I tried to save my sister. What? Yeah, I got burnt. Uh, mommy, I'm like, yeah, bro, it's a real life situation. And um, uh, I remember I got a chair, bro. My grandma, she a crackhead, so mm. she was in the living room sleeping. I don't know what going on. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to get a chair, unlock the door, and open the door and they bust in kind of the people saved us try to get us out but my sister didn't make it she was oh. a baby like nine months oh man yeah and then, um so you know growing up bro from there from, my, from that point on my mama left the city mm. she, you know she left and went to like uh know to mm. ski mm. and i stayed with my grandma my, and my dad and my grandma who raised me and then um i, I used to just go back and forth with my pops and my grandfather my yeah dad, always just instilled knowledge in me my, my grandfather did mm. got my work ethic from my pops he paint cars been doing it his whole life okay and i watched my dad do everything himself okay self-made you know built his own shop house paint car like he just always been the biggest boss in the city mm. as i would say so mm. but we ain't never have a pleasant relationship growing up though you know my dad was hard on me which i still appreciate it to this day because 
if it went for that, I wouldn't probably be here. You know, I wouldn't yeah. have had that fire inside of me to be able. I gotta go out and be something. Now. Yeah, yeah. And then um, so just just growing up, man, I always kind of like been to myself. You yeah. know, I was always just a cool guy. I got bullied a lot in school because all my teeth was messed up. Mm. And so, you you know, I was that guy that just love to put smiles on people's faces, man, and um, just have fun. Yeah. My teeth were jacked up too. Where? Right. Uh, <laughs> so Chip and up. everything had a gap, all that. Bro, so my, my was messed up bad, bro. Like, yeah. Seriously, and my dad didn't give me braces. That would hurt me because I'm like, you got the money, why you don't give me braces, bro? Yeah. And so my granddad eventually had to give me braces. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, but you know what? The type of stuff we go through that makes us who we are today. You know. One thousand. So man, but that, that's that's a sad story about your sister. Oh and, yeah, and man. Fight. You know, I just always use it as my inspiration. I just know she always watching over me. You yeah, know for what sure. Saying? So. And uh, I mean, man, just growing up all the way through you and Springs, Alabama, it just was, it was, it was tough. But I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Put it like that. You yeah. feel me? It's just memories I can't never forget. I, if, I, if I can go back and live, I probably would. You feel what I'm saying? Because I can see the things I would do differently. Right. Uh, to just go farther. But and I mean, bro, just growing up down in that small town, that's all we had. That's all we knew. Yeah. I ain't, you know, we ain't never seen that. My grandfather was the one who would take me out on summers, like. The floor or the vacation and stuff. He drive trucks. Mm-hmm. So my granddad always took me out on vacation and showed me stuff and just he he showed me what was out here. Yeah, like the life that I could live versus what I was living in. He exposed you to it yeah. at an early age. That's good. Yeah, open that mind up. Most most deaf, most deaf, and just growing up, I always just had that fire inside of me, bro. Just I'm gonna be something. It's funny though, cause I thought I was gonna be a basketball player. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. You know, we always go to the NBA. Right, exactly. And, and Grandpa told me he said, "Just have a plan B." He said, "I don't want to discourage you," but he said, "You know how many people in the world want to play basketball?" Right. And I never really looked at it like that. Yeah. Like you gotta go, you gotta compete with all these people. And then he said, "Look at some of the training that other people have that you don't even have." Mm. And so I'm on YouTube watching Ball His Life all the time, looking at these boys training. I'm like, nah, I ain't got nothing. This type of training ain't no way I'm gonna make it. You feel me? So that's when I instantly like, okay, plan B. And that was gonna be paying cars with my pops. But that didn't work out too good because, you know, pops was tough on me, man. Pops wasn't, he wasn't, it wasn't just, a, oh yeah, dad, I'm gonna be like you, whatever. Pops was tough on me, bro. So yeah. I left my hometown in high school, bro. I just up and left. You me too. Me? I did this. Man, we got similar stories, bro. That's crazy. I, man, my daddy was a mechanic and Damn, okay. I told him I wanted to be in the NBA. It was probably like 11 or 12. And, mm-hmm. uh, and, and I went in the room. I was like, I know what I want to do when I grow up. He's like, what? I was like, I want to be in the NBA. He was like, ha, that probably won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he said that probably won't happen. Laugh at you. My dad, my dad told me I would be, no, no cap, my dad told me I was lazy and I would be on the corner if I, if I kept going the way I was going. Damn. But I wasn't even going in a bad way. It was just a fact that I didn't like how he used to talk to me. Man. So he'll talk to me crazy. I worked slow on purpose. Man. <laughs> like, Man. He thought I was lazy, but little you know it not, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm you. Yeah. I'm in a small you with that same ambition, that same fire. I go hard, you know, but. Yep. You know, I didn't like how he treated me in front of other people that worked with us, like mm. other guys, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like, and so, like, all that, is all that anger inside of me is what made me go and just be something. Because at the end of the day, I never hated him to yeah. this day. My dad, my best friend to this day now. But yeah. even then, when he used to neglect me sometimes, you know, a lot of me, but he would come get me, stuff like that never came and got me. Like, my mm. pop was the guy to come in and sit up the clean car. Yeah, but oh, bingo. Mm. So I see dad, like, I'm going to be my daddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my, my friends and stuff, and he just around and stuff like that. You know, he won't scoop you up. That my pop. <laughs> man, that's crazy, man. You know, but but I ain't gonna never take away the time that we did have our father and right. son moments though. But you know, right. it's, it's cause them, some people don't have that. Exactly, a lot yeah. of people don't have that. But it's, yeah. it's them times. It, it's them the adversity, bro. That that builds you. And I tell people that you gotta let it build you and let it destroy you. So exactly. And, I, and yeah, man. And I mean, see, and that show show you how great your heart is, and that's why you blessed the way you are. Because even out the what you went through with him. You still, you say that's your best friend. Man, my dog. You know, no matter how rough they was on us, mm-hmm. we still forgive them. Mm-hmm. And because that's how you can only live a blessed life anyway. You can't hold, hold, can't hold shit over. No, exactly. Can't hold exactly. Grudge. And then that makes you be a weaker person by holding the grudge. 1,000%, man. So that all that done. So just, you know, like just my love, my childhood. Because I, all I did, bro, was go to school, play ball. You know, I was I had my uncle and gang and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm both doing drugs. I always stay away from it. I, yeah. bro, I didn't start smoking and drinking until I started drinking in 2019, bro. Gotcha. So I was already grown. I had, my, my first time drinking was here in Miami. Mm. <laughs> when mm. it was I lying to you, that's when I started drinking. Since a kid, my grandma Bill, my grandma was like the, the, the 
how would you say the most popular grandma in the city? You know, everybody yeah. loves Grandma Bell. So for sure. She drunk whiskey all her life. They had me doing all types of stuff. <laughs> whiskey. Kid, bro. Yeah, they had me just sip, sipping whiskey and stuff. You know, the year two as a kid. But me, myself, like, as I'm grown, I ain't start smoking till the year before last. Yeah. 2022. Yeah. That's when I started smoking. And it was all because it was the end of 2022, I want to believe, bro. But other than that, I stayed away from all the drugs, the gangs, and all mm-hmm. that because I just felt like that, that didn't serve me no purpose. Nah, you, you did right. You, you know, did I, right. I seen my friends that, that were supposed to go to the NBA that I knew for a fact that would have had rise, bro, and they just gave it all up. Mm. And when I saw that, it, it, it kind of like messed with me. You feel I'm like, yo, bro, you guys are talented as heck, bro. Y'all mm-hmm. boys got a future ahead of y'all that mm-hmm. they got around the wrong crowd and just lost it all you know and when you stay in that same environment that you grew up in you got the same friends you grew up with yeah, they, you they don't a lot of times people don't want to see you excel greater than what you're, what they are doing anyway it's so it's that can hold you back but you got to get out of that hometown once you once you be done got the success or from from sports Man, you, you gotta go. go you gotta go bro <laughs> you know those people in the, no matter how much you look at me like me for example i still go back home a lot yeah only because i feel like my city is so small you know what i'm saying everybody know everybody i ain't never had to worry about all that or oh, i don't go back to your city they go kind of hurt you and i ain't never that you know yeah. i go back home all the time bro in my city like it ain't nothing 100 and you, go, you know because i know everybody and, and i'm like bro i tell you don't ever trick me like i'm famous mm. I like that. Don't don't you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the same guy who walking these streets around my bicycle playing basketball with y'all in school with y'all. Like yeah. I just went out chasing my dreams, something that, something that right. y'all probably do, you feel right. me? But don't never treat me like I'm different from y'all because exactly. I'm not. So hundred percent. Yeah, so man, you know, I mean I, that's that was the main thing for me and um just I tell you people all the time, but a lot of times people don't like you from your hometown because when you make it out, they like why they didn't make it out. There you go. They don't see how how the hell he made out where we at. Mm-hmm. But luckily, I don't go through that, bro. It was only Montgomery. Uh, well, you know, we're going to talk about that, too. Um, I want to touch on when your, when your sister passed, mm-hmm. showing, seeing, you seeing that life is so short, did that impact you in a way? I'll just tell you my story. Yeah. My little cousin, I was like 18 or 19, and my little cousin was 16 or 17, and we was close. We was like brothers. He wasn't even like my little cousin. He died on a four-wheeler racing somebody Damn. hit a tree God. died <clears throat> right like right right after i got out of high school or right when i was in high school and for me that shit was heartbreaking and it showed me that life is short as fuck and like life ain't guaranteed so that made me want to chase my dreams even harder because he ain't even get an opportunity to right so i'm like shit well i definitely got to go hard just for him to show him that shit, man. We could have did this together, you know, because I had plans for us to get rich together. Yeah. And then <clears throat> after he passed, I thought me and my brother was gonna get rich together, but he ended up getting married, and so I was I was out on my oh, own. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> so with that, which was which with that tragic accident that happened, did that did that make you feel? I know you were still young, though. You was Wait, like I, six. I, I'm, though. Be real, I'm be real with you. Like I was so young, so you know when it kind of like successful and all that stuff. I ain't know nothing. I, I was none of that Don't was think my about mind. That. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it was just a fact that. I just lost my sister in the house fire. I'm young at the time, so I really don't know what's going on, but I know what's going on, you know? And, um, I mean, as I got older and I started to understand even more, like, what happened, and it's like, it just, like, dang, man. So I just wonder, like, how should it be? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, what time I be thinking that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't never, we ain't never get to grow old together, so. Right. It just, it just, it just, bro, like you say, life's short, man. And, yeah. it, and it always just inspired me just to go hard, especially, like, just seeing that pain that they brought on my mom. Yeah. That would really, that would really touch me, man, because I ain't never seen my mom like that. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. And it, it just, I, just to think about it, you know that like, my mom lost a daughter. Yeah. And it's a difference when you lose a daughter in the stomach or something, but now nah, baby was here. Baby, mm. she, she was walking at nine months. She was special. Damn. She was special. Bro, my, my, my sister was special. Wow. She was walking at nine months, bro. And um, so, I mean... It just, it made me do that nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Older, okay, you know? I got you. Chasing the success or having the success you have right now, what were some of your setbacks along the way? Did you have any obstacles you had to go through to get to where you are today? Uh, I mean, man, I think every day an obstacle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, 100%. So you going to go through something every day, man, that go, that they're going to help you get to where you're going to set you back. But it also, I look at every L as a lesson. Mm-hmm. And everything that don't work is meant to not work because you got to figure out another way that you're supposed to go. So mm. uh, I would say, man, just just having the wrong type of people around you sometimes will set you back. Yep. And 
you know, hold it, trying to bring the one that you love with you will set you back because just because you love somebody doesn't mean they meant to be around you. Mm. Their energy will set you back mm. further than you think. Mm. Like, even though you're ready to go forward, they're not ready to go forward. And your love will try to, like, you know, okay, how can we figure this out? But you're wasting so much time because mm. this person don't see your vision. They mm -hmm. just want to ride the wave. Mm -hmm. And they don't want the success for themselves. Nah, they want, they want to be a part of your success. Exactly, exactly. Without contributing. One thousand percent. Man, listen, y'all. Remember, to be around other successful people, bring value to the table. Learn. Go to that person. If they already got money. Show them a way that they can make more money or tell them you're willing to do this do to help them make some money. Don't just try to grab some money from somebody or just be there to Or just be in the circle, be in the yeah. spotlight. It's, it's, right. That's what most people want to be in your spotlight. The light shine on you. It's not. <laughs> like, what you, what you doing, bro? Right, like, they've like they worked hard to get Come there. Come on, man. Nah. Yeah, man, I feel you it. Know. All right, guys. You know how important professional photography and videography is in real estate, and I take mine very seriously. The only company I trust is Visually Sold, and that's visuallysold.com. They have the best photographers. They've been shooting all of my photography videos for my real estate projects for years. Not only that, they have a next day delivery, instant booking online, and the quality is outstanding. Get your game up today and get 10% off your first photo or video shoot by using my code, which is Trey, T-R-E-Y, at visuallysold.com. And that is, again, Trey, at visuallysold.com. They will take care of you. Make sure you tell them that I sent you so I can get some future discounts on all of my stuff in the future. All right, guys, visuallysold.com. Check them out. They will not disappoint. One of the most professional services in the business. All right, I guarantee that. Now let's get back to the show. Just to, like, on, on that, bro, if a lot of people don't know about me, man, like I, I helped a lot of people, bro. I changed a lot of people's lives, bro, in yeah. my age. And um, that's, that's my, my biggest thing I'm proud of because I just know I'm doing it through God's work. So mm, that's amazing. Man, I'd have been through a lot. You'll be amazed, man. The people you try to help, bro. It, it, it kind of it, it, it kind of messes up my head a little bit when you see you try to help people and the people that don't want help for themselves. Yeah, yeah, it does, man. And and I, I can never understand it, but I guess it ain't meant for us to understand because nah. at the end of the day, it's more followers than leaders, mm -hmm. and there's gonna be more people that just go with the flow versus creating the flow. I tell people you'll be a creator or a consumer. Mm. Either two. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and a That's lot of, it. And a lot of people are consumers, bro. That's it. <laughs> they want to consume. It's like what Buddy said on Baby Boy, guns and butter. All right. <laughs> Real talk. All right, so what motivates you? Like, like mm. you are already at a, at, a, at a high level. What keeps you going? Where I come from. Okay. And um, it, it, me knowing that, bro, this ain't nothing what I'm at. Yeah. Levels. Yeah. People look at me every day, bro, and they be inspired by me. I don't, to this day, people come, they be like, Corvo. And I'm like, bro, I'm nowhere where I want to be at. Yeah. Like, people looking at my success, I'm like, yeah, I made to me, you know, I, I done had a lot of stuff, but that ain't <laughs> nothing. Like, because I I see what they don't see, because they yeah. only see me. Yeah. But I see somebody that living on that top floor up there, that's the $20 million penthouse. Yeah. He got yeah. a $3 million car. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just about the materialistic thing, it's about the impact that the person is creating. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. So it's like, I tell people the materialistic thing is just the 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 trophy, the awards to what you really doing. Exactly. And most people be blind by the materialistic thing. And I tell mm. people, I pay attention to what a person really doing. Mm. And um, that would motivate me, man, when I see other successful people. And they just like, you know, and they just, and then reminding myself and where you come from and never go back. Exactly. But you're dropping them jewels. <clears throat> and I can piggyback off that because you see the cars and the cribs and stuff, and you want that. Right. But also, you know, by reaching those by having those goals you're going to be successful in your life by chasing those type of things by trying to acquire a ferrari or a lambo right. or a penthouse by trying to acquire that you're going to have a, a significant amount of money coming in yeah so that's going to put you on the goal so that's going to put it in your mind like how can i how can i get those things right. you know what i'm saying right. and then that's going to put you on the track of getting to the bag causing the impact yes sir yeah, that's the that's the main thing um uh, I, one of my main things I live on now, you want to be as rich as you, if you want to be as wealthy as you you can, however wealthy you want to be, think about the biggest impact can you cause in, 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 mm -hmm. in, in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Major. What, what, could you, what could you impact in the world? How could you impact people's lives? Mm. Because at the end of the day, for example, if I got a course and I'm, and I'm selling it for $30, 
or forty five dollars. I can up the price up, mm -hmm. but if I impact millions of lives, you just made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So it ain't about the money it, 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 right now no more. It's about the people who lives you just changed. The money is just a reward to come in and let you live the life that you desire to live. Prove it. You know, and that's and, and that's one of the biggest things that I've learned so far. A lot of people be too stuck on chasing the money, but they're not chasing chasing the, the impact the they impact. can have on all the people. Yeah, that's the key. Nah, people don't understand. Like that's the key. Not only is that the key to true happiness, that's the key to true success. Exactly. Because 1, <laughs> the 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 impact you have on others, bro, that's the and it ain't got to be about money. It just can mm -hmm. be about the knowledge, cause that's the greatest gift. Knowledge is power, bro. I tell people that all the time. That that's 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 the main thing that I, I I preach nowadays. Yeah. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. Because I tell people, in order to do anything in life, you need knowledge. Yes, it's sir. Simple. Yes, sir. And that's what we have been. Us as people have been stripped from. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been stripped from our identity. We've been stripped from mm -hmm. the knowledge. We've been stripped from. Uh, who we are, like, and it's like most people don't know this. Like, mm -hmm. cause I'm spiritual, bro, so I'm very, yeah, very, very too, spiritual. Now, for sure. and I'm, I'm, I'm not in the matrix, I tell people. Mm -hmm. You gotta escape the matrix. Once you escape the matrix, you're free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you feel? Li you living in the fifth dimension. Yeah, I'm, see, exactly. See, most most dimension. people in the third yeah, in the dimension. Third dimension you know what I'm saying? And right now is the time when people need to be waking up, bro, because yes. it's happening. You know, God, God working hard right now is a spiritual warfare. So always, yeah, always man. been. But man, that's amazing. So. With you being spiritual, what are some of the books or audio books that you've listened to or read that you can help give back to others to get to your level? Well, uh, it's a lot of books I read. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I tell people the main thing, the number one book that people need to need to focus on is the Bible. And one thing I tell people about the Bible that I've learned, bro, the Bible is uh, it's a guide for life. It is. It's like our instruction manual. It's a, right, bro. It's <laughs> simple. It, it's right. crazy because a lot of people read the Bible, but they don't understand. Because I'm, I'm, I can vouch for this. And first, when I started reading the Bible. At a young age, I grew up in church, so I you know at first yeah. you know, I was just going because my granddad was taking me and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on for real. I'm here with my friend. I don't know what the that preacher talking about. <laughs> just being real. Right, right, right. I, I, I feel you. But as I got older and I started just getting more closer, and I started understanding, like, bro, you'll be amazed how many people read the Bible, but they don't understand it. Mm. So just because you say you read the Bible and you know the, they don't understand it, like mm -hmm. it's a it's a complete difference versus reading something and understanding it. Mm -hmm. And um, I was saying the Bible, and I read the Project 369 is one of my favorite books. I give to everybody. Mm. Project 369 is the key to the universe. Mm. 369 is the most powerful numbers in the universe, which is frequency, vibration, and, and, and energy. Mm. And um, and once you got that, bro, you can you can you can basically take control of your life and manifest whatever you want because you understand how the universe works. Mm. And most people don't understand how the law of attraction works. So it's like. That's one of the main books I give to people. And, I, and one of my favorite ones is uh, Think and Grow Rich. Oh, yeah. Napoleon, Napoleon Hill. Hill for I, sure. I love that book. That done came up on this uh, podcast a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, love sir. that. I love uh, that book. Yes, sir. And uh, the first 48, I mean, the 48 Laws of Power. Laws of Power. But a gem that most people don't know, yeah. when he wrote that book, that was that was his, um, he, he wrote that book with his ego. Mm. It's another book that most people don't talk about, The 48 Powers of Nature. Uh yeah, because I was looking at the 48 Laws of Power, and then some of the chapters, he was like, act as a friend, but pose as a spy. Or or it, it was like some some, yeah. some, some kind so, of evil shit. Yeah, I'm like, and, and, but like I said, what it was is that he just he wrote that book out of ego. Mm -hmm. But it's not in a bad way, just because sometimes you have to play them tight roles. Yeah. But when you read the 48 Laws of, of Nature, nature. It shows you the real ways of living mm. and understanding life. So it's like, that's one book. What and about the 50th law? Did you read that? The 50th, 50th law of power. You know, 50 Cent did a book with him, too. I, I ain't read that Because that's Robert yet. Green. I ain't read it either. I ain't read it. I got to go to but, it. But I'm going to check it's, out that 48 Laws of Nature. And the other one was Project 369. Project 369. You read that book, you and it's amazing. I tell you, like, bro, it's like, you'll be amazed how one book can Yo, change, change your whole perspective of life. That's crazy because <clears throat> my mama got three kids. And in my life, I always... Favorite the numbers three, six, and nine because it would be really? multiples of three. Yes, <laughs> always because really? I'd be like, every, every, always favorite them numbers, man. And now every, when I do something, I have to do it at least three times and multiply it six. So I'm definitely on you that are, book. You are, I, you, I'm, you, I'm on that book tonight. Yeah, I'm, gotta, I'm buying that. <laughs> listen to that on Amazon or really? whatever. And, but what it is is also a, a journal of manifest manifestation. So you they got parts in the book where you can like just it shows you how to like literally write down and then, you know track what you want. Like mm. so it's deep, bro. How long you been on this though? Because you only 25, bro. So I, uh, uh, I got on it when I was about 22. Mm. But I you've been on this way before that, before 22. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. On uh, reading the books and stuff. I mean, well, I've been on it. I've been on it, but I say I took it real serious. The age like 23, mm. 22, but 23. Two years ago. That was my Jordan year. 
Mm. And, bro, that year, it was like, I went through my spiritual awakening. Mm. And it opened my eyes up on a whole other level. Like, I had one, matter of fact, funny, funny story. Mm. When, I, when I got back from Columbia, Medellin, I got my teeth done. I woke up, and um, God put some in my heart, bro. That when I had manifested what I was going to do. Mm. And then um, I met my uh, OG. And I was, I've been, like, kind of woke, but yeah. I met him. He was talking, and he said something that caught my attention. I ain't never knew who he was. I had just met him. And that when I saw going through my spiritual awakening, all this information just started coming to me. Mm. Like, my tell people, it's a hundred men on our phone right here. Mm -hmm. I really mean that. The mm. information that's in my phone that I know for a fact that I'm going to impact the world with, mm. it's, it all came to me. And I just tell people, what about with God, bro? Because mm. I'm like, they be like, how you know this stuff? You know, I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes stuff comes to my phone, the information. How I find stuff is not regular, it's not normal. Mm. So I know that it got to be a higher power that's sending this to me because I be seeking it. And you know, that's exactly why. You seeking it and you see it. That opportunity, when it comes to you, it presents itself exactly. boldly. Some people may see the same shit, but don't, overlook don't, don't it because they don't they know. They don't know. Not they don't want to know. They ain't trying to know. <laughs> I tell you that all the time, I say you'll be amazed how many how many blessings you missed because you wasn't aware that it was right in your face. You were on Straight up. And you got to be looking for it. You got to. It's a, it's, it's a must, bro. So When preparation meets opportunity, is that's when you become blessed. And it's I mean, we are already blessed, but that's when you reap the blessings. Yeah. What you looking just, like over there? Man, brother. <laughs> I got but, you. but yeah, man. I mean, that that's crazy. That's crazy you say that. But that's that's how it that's how it is with me. I've been on it for a while, and like you know, I always been. You know, I can't say that though, bro. Since I was like, bro, since I first started, if you go back and watch my first YouTube video, I always been like this. I always been speaking knowledge, and speaking positivity, and motivating people. You know, and your first YouTube video for how long ago? In 2000, with uh, 16. <laughs> 16. No, I would lie to you. You want to tell me so funny? Because I don't never talk about that because I don't count it. Yeah, yeah. But I was on YouTube in 2013. 13? Wait, damn, hold on. So it's 2024 right now. Damn, that's 11 oh, years ago. Yeah, it was 11 years ago. I was, on social, I was on social. I was on Facebook in 2011. I mean, in 2011 or 13, 11. I mean, 11. Doing YouTube videos? No, nope, I was just on, on, two, I was just, well, on 2013. I started. So yeah, 2013, I was, on, I was playing Call of Duty in 2K. I was streaming dead, it. Dead edges, but listen, I didn't know nothing about this. I'm just, I just want to record myself playing the games. Yeah. I just set my phone up. Yeah, yeah. And record it. And I didn't, listen, I ain't know about no editing or nothing. I just, how you post on YouTube? Post on YouTube and just post it. <laughs> Did, so it'll show you how God had me doing this but way before I even knew that this is what I'm going to do. Gifted. It's crazy, bro. Oh, you gifted, it's bro. It's crazy. Because I deleted them videos. I still got them. I got I got them on, on my phone. But I was like, yeah. I, Midnight Club LA, Call of Duty. I was playing Minecraft. Oh, building, bro. Building houses. And they make money off that. I, I mean, not bro, listen, streaming is, uh, gaming is a big bad. industry. Uh, <laughs> For sure. If I had a knew this back then, I would have been rich way back then, bro. <laughs> but I didn't know. I'm telling you. I ain't still I don't think it was paying back then, or was it? I don't know. I well, don't maybe. You'd be amazed. I don't, I don't know. know. But yeah, yeah so... That's how long I actually been on social media. I've been on social media for 11 years, bro. Since I was a kid. Like, I, and you know what's so fun? I got everything. Like, I tell people, bro, my whole life, anything I tell you, I yeah. can go pull it up right now. Yeah, I, I, I believe did, it. I did. I can go pull up a video up, a status up, a picture up. I can go pull it up. Man, we already know you're authentic. You, you wouldn't even be on Maybach Conversations if you were not <laughs> baby. You, you authentic. All right. <clears throat> what are some of your dreams that you haven't accomplished yet? One on right at the road. I'm going to the Porsche Tower. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's Had a car in, in the living yeah, room? Bro, that's, bro, Got to. I've been manifest. You know, I, so let me, let me get real, dude. Because the materialist things, I would say, don't count, bro. When it comes out of materialist things, bro, dreams, like, that that's a reward. My, yeah. Right now, it's, uh, it's really, man, it's just continuing to impact many, many people's lives. Because I got a goal. I say I want to change a million people's lives. I want to I wanna see that I change a million people's lives. Mm. So I started my YouTube course. And right now I'm updating and putting a community inside of my course. Okay. Because on social media they won't let you talk about certain things. They got me shut up on Instagram because I be putting out too much information. Mm. And uh, what people don't understand is I'm very deep. So it's like I understand how demonic the system is. Mm. I understand how they are not uh, with what I'm preaching. Mm -hmm. But it's too late now because it's all happening mm. natural, like spiritually. The, the, the realm, God is bringing everything to light right now. Mm -hmm. So long story short. On Instagram, Facebook, all that, they won't let me talk about the things I want to talk about. So mm. right now, I'm building my platform, which is my uh, smooth creator course. And inside the community, I'll be putting out all this deep information 
helping people wake up out the matrix and change their life. Mm-hmm. And that's one of my main that's like that's one of my main goals that I'm doing right now to get this up and running successfully. It should be done a day tomorrow. And I mean, bro, just making sure that if God willing, I become a billionaire by thirty. Yes, sir. And when I tell you a billionaire, it's funny because people are like, oh, you want a billion dollars? Like, I don't want a billion dollars. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with a billion dollars in my bank account? That ain't gonna mm-hmm. serve me no purpose. Mm-hmm. I want to have an ass my assets. I want to be able to see that I got a billion dollars in assets. Yes, sir. And that's with real estate. You know, that's with... Um, so, a billion dollar net worth. Yeah, net worth. Mm-hmm. And it, it just basically, I want to have a billion dollar network of in, impacting other lives. Got it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> how can the people, before we even forget, how can the people find you? I know you got the course you say on YouTube. Or? Uh, it's Smooth Creators course. Smooth Creators? Yeah, Smooth Creators. And then they just go to Core yeah, SSG yeah. on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Core SSG. Man, you just type in Core SSG. Now, I don't like to be cocky. I'm like, just type my name in. It'll pop up. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find everything. Right. You'll find everything. Google, you'll find everything you need to find. That's the, that's the blessing that I have because I'm just all on social media. Got it. So you want to give back. So some some of your dreams is to have a billion dollar network mm-hmm. and be able to give back and change a million people's lives. Yeah, because I know for a fact if I change a million, I can change a million more. How can how you how you really plan on changing a, a million people's lives? Uh, install, installing the knowledge inside of them and just basically, bro, just giving them the impact. Because one thing about it is a lot of people don't have that inspiration. Yes, you especially. Know? Of our culture, exactly. You know, we ain't, ain't nobody talking to us, nah, and, that, and that's man. the whole reason for me creating this show. Smart, you know what I'm saying? Definitely to give smart. the knowledge back to our people. I mean, everyone, everyone, but everyone for sure, but most definitely our, our people, because we're like the furthest behind. In my opinion, the black man is like the furthest behind out of any race. Like, like I, I, like, I, I like I say, bro, if you, if you know, if you know the truth, then you know. Yeah. Most people just don't know the truth. They yeah. don't know what happened. We get to talking. Like, I go to talking deep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I go to talking deep, telling you like, oh yeah, what happened? Like yeah, you know, uh, we really Israelites. You know, Hebrews, and you get to it like we really the God chosen people, the melanated people. You know, yeah. and they stole everything from us uh-huh. because at the end of the day, they, they, all this is ours. Everything they see is ours. A lot of the stuff that they see is our creation, our yeah. ideas. Yeah. They take a lot of stuff from Africa, bro. Yeah. And you know, so I just I go. Nah, deep. I already know. <laughs> I just want to say. I just want to, I'm tired of seeing black people killing each other. Like, man, that gang shit is stupid. Like, bro, all that, like, like, we're supposed to be lifting each other up. We both, me and you both come from the hood. We come from, we come from struggling environments. That don't determine where you go in life, man. Just goddamn focus. Just know that whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. Love each other. Stop giving off hate and, and do love. Because karma is real. Whatever you get putting out there, you're going to get back. back. That's why your life is miserable. That's probably why you out here robbing and killing. You ain't got to do that. You know what I'm saying? My man Corey want to change. You help change your life. I want to help change your life. And, and let's, I just want to make the world a better place. And tired of seeing black people fucking killing each other. I, 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 watching Instagram today is three dudes and shot at an 11-year-old. Huh? Yeah, three dudes shot at an 11-year-old twice. He running from the, the boys. They black. I only I forgot on what well, what Instagram page well, it was. Well, well, you know what's so funny, man. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Um, cause I I speak about this a lot. I was just editing the video before you came. Then I edited an hour video before you came. I finished it right before you came. I uploaded it, so I'll be dropping it probably tomorrow or something. I it was like a. Uh, a team of football players on South Beach the other night when I was out there. Yeah. And they was all walking past me. They was inspired. They, was like, they didn't want to sit in at first. Then one of the guys said something. I thought it was college kids. Mm. I had no clue they were 17. They looked like they were older than me. Damn. All of them. I said, man, <laughs> some of y'all fools out there. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, they're all black boys. And um, they were listening to me. And what I tell people is this, man. It's harder to go down that route than it is to be successful. People don't even know that. Yes. It's harder to be a robber, 100%. killer, uh, uh, you know, that negative energy. It's, that's that that lifestyle is harder than just being. Like they call me a nerd, bro. You a nerd? Ooh. I said, listen, I'd rather be a nerd any day than rather be one of what y'all call a gangster. Mm-hmm. Because if, if me mm. being a nerd have made me live a life that I'm living, mm-hmm. I love it. Preach. <laughs> and you gotta look over your shoulder like that. I you know, love it, man. Bro. But it, it, and that's the thing, bro, like what you just say, it just all, all it is, bro, lack of knowledge. Yes, sir. Most people go down that route, lack of knowledge. And then on top of that, you know, they don't have no opportunities. Yeah. Most people in the country, and, and, it, and it's like, I, at first I was blaming it on us, but you can't, bro. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't blame it. You know, I can't, like, I hate that they think like that, but you can't you blame cannot. it on us. You cannot. You can't blame it on us. You can't blame it on the white man. No. Or whatever the hell is that shit is no, is all personal responsibility. No matter how you grew up, no matter no. what the fuck happened to you, 
Man, get your you get can't. your thoughts, get your mind together, read the right books. Just read successful wealth building, personal development books. Listen to them on audiobook. Headway is a good app. Listen to that to expand your mind. When you expand your mind, your actions should follow. I'll give you another one. Uh, something that most people don't know about A Lux. You ever heard of that? A Lux, uh-uh. See, to put you What's on. that? What's that? A Lux is where the future millionaires and future billionaires go. It's on YouTube. They drop videos every day. It's on YouTube. A Lux. A L U X? Yep, and they drop nothing but valuable knowledge. Perfect. When I was 19, when I was 19, I got up every morning at 5 o'clock. My routine was watch an A Lux video. Yeah. I got my notebook and I take down notes from every video that I watch. Mm -hmm. And I go over and then I go to my YouTube and you know, and then that's when I made my first hundred thousand dollars in one month. Mm. I was watching mm. their video, mm. their videos every day. But I'm gonna say something. It take a strong man to pick up a book. Mm. It take a strong man to say that I'm not gonna go down that route. It take a strong man to, to, to pick up his he pick himself up and say I'm gonna go do better. Mm -hmm. It's the weak boys that go down the other route. Mm, I was just about so to matter, say that. So no matter how hard you think you are, no matter how tough you think you are, because you got a gun, because you like you gangster, because you know you got gang members, you weak. For sure. That's a weak route. It take a real For strong sure. man to do what we doing right now. For sure. Because what I've been through, bro, most people, most of them would have gave up. Mm. One thousand <laughs> percent. You feel what I'm saying? Hundred percent. All right. <clears throat> Y'all heard it. <laughs> what are some of your morals? Or standards or a set of rules that you live by. Do you have that? Yeah. Uh, one thing about one, one thing for sure, I'm a man of God at all times, and um, I always be true to yourself and treat myself. I treat others like I want to be treated. Yes, sir. That's that's and, and that's so valuable. Oh, it's very valuable. It's very simple, but very valuable. People don't understand that. No, nah, they definitely. Man, you know, I see it all the time, <laughs> and um, I say, man, you know, just no matter what, I just keep God first through everything in my life. Yeah. No matter what I'm going through, and I and I keep that mindset to know that whatever I'm going through, I'm going through it for a reason, mm -hmm. and it's up to me to become aware of okay, why am I going through this? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so that's why I can be, figure out okay, well, what God is trying to show me? Yeah, what do I need to change in my life to stop yeah. this from happening or stop this negative energy from being yeah, around yeah, me? Exactly, I got you. Exactly. So you know, I mean, and I just try to keep it simple. I tell you all the time, life ain't ain't so hard, but most people make their life hard. It's not yeah. it's not hard. It's simple. Yeah, you know, yeah. so. It's very simple. Stand on top of, stand on top of, uh, of who you are, being true to yourself, and take you a long ways in life. I mean, remaining humble, bro, and just moving with respect, it'll take you so far in life. Yes, sir. Attitude, personality. Yes. All that. Humble. Humbleness all is key. All that take you a long ways in life. Yeah, it I, I is. I made a lot of connections, bro, just by being myself. Yeah. And that <laughs> will get you through the door. When you bring in value, when you got an honest spirit, spirit, integrity, character, People pick up on that. The, the people that are successful and wealthy, they they can feel your energy. Yeah. They know because we are spiritual beings, so we right. can we you can pick up on energy. Oh, I'm I, sure. Any energy, very powerful. any energy. So if you if your ass got negative thoughts and you coming around one of us, we gonna pick up on that shit quickly. And you ain't gonna be around at all. You know, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna bring on, I'm gonna bring your show that most people not aware. Have you ever heard of the Willie Lynch letter? Hell yeah, William, William Lynch letter. The, the Willie the Willie Lynch letter. I thought it was William. The Willie Lynch letter. Willie, oh shit, maybe I ain't. I, but I, I that's good. when they did that to, to so, keep the slaves. Yeah, so the Willie he came across. He came over to the uh, the colony, the Virginia colonies. Uh, I forgot exactly what year it is. I, I got it in my phone, in my books. Yeah. But that's why a lot of people acting the way they act because when he came here in that letter, in that in that when he wrote, he 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 turned the black men versus dark skin, the, light skin, alert, like dark skin, light skin. He turned the older men versus the younger men, mm. and the reason and most people like they don't understand like when, when you when you say certain things, people don't understand why. Mm -hmm. I break it down. I'm gonna turn. Uh, he turned the white, the, the light skinned ladies versus the black skinned ladies. Everything how they created all this the, the division. Mm. And what happened was he turned the older men versus the younger men, the younger men versus the older men because he knew for a fact that if you get around me and you live longer than me, you experience life, you're going to be able to give me a lot of wisdom mm. and, and teach me something. Mm. And a younger generation, the same way, can teach the older generation new things that mm. the older generation don't know. Mm -hmm. So if I keep them divided, we'll just keep them blind and mm. they'll just go, just go against each other. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And it's right. deep. You know, so it's like that was one of the main things that caused separation also when he came over to the States, to, to the United States. And um, that's something that still 
400, and they said it, bro, the 400 years mm-hmm. of slavery. Mm-hmm. That's why right now it's all ending because the time is over with. Mm. So people don't even understand the huge transition that's going on in the real right now. That's why God works so hard. Like, they don't understand what's going on to today. Like, mm. today. It's happening. It's in the Bible. It's in Revelation. Yeah. You know, so that's another thing why a lot of people act where they act, bro, in our culture. And, um, but I would say this, man, you know, it, it, right now, we've been going through this, but it's the time for people to, to get right. <laughs> because yeah, because sure. he been doing a sweep. For sure. And you know, it, a lot of things that we was going through, we're not going to go through no more. Yeah. And the only people that going to be left is the one who got that light, that oil in, in, in their body. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what's, your, what's your take on all these bonkers and shit? You heard about these bonkers being built? So, so now, you want to go there, we'll go there. Let's go. A, lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know that all these elites, they are not human beings. That, you know, there are different species. You got reptilians, you got the, uh, what is it, the, the nephilim, the nephilim. Um, ne- nephilim, yeah, some nephilim. shit like that. This is yeah. real deal. This shit yeah. is so real. Yeah. And um, they, so, you know, they kept saying somebody was trying to, the uh, the sun was coming close to the earth and everything. So they always put all this bullshit on the media to keep us blind. Yeah. They ain't gonna tell you the truth. But the reason they, they said it was building bunkers because they trying to run. Mm. What they really running from, bro, is the sun. Because they can't stand the sun, mm. you know. Uh, parasites can't 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 stand the heat, right? Mm. And what's happening is this this new transition that God is bringing is going to destroy them regardless. But the thing about it, they're not going on the ground, bro. Mm. Don't let that fool you. Mm. They're going in the mountains. Mm. But God going to destroy all that. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He'll bring out. He'll bring them out. They can't run from it. And so that's why they people think they all these both are going on the ground. They both not going on the ground. They can't stand on the ground. How can you go on the ground where um, Oxygen. Not even just that, bro. You feel me? It, it's it's the it's what's going on under the ground. Right now, the ocean. The ocean is heating up bad as hell right now. Hmm. It's just a lot of information that people don't know. And I got all this shit in my phone. I, I be see. Woke. Yeah, I you be, be on it. Yeah, uh, I'm I ain't even I was I was trying to figure out what the hell going on with this bunker shit, but yeah, I ain't they doing even... it because of the, the, it's, they they're running now. These elites are running. Like, bro, Biden. Bro, Biden is not a fucking human being, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, just, just keep it real. Bro. He's not a human being, bro. And that's what's going on right now. You feel me? Pay attention. So, all right. So you you brought that question up, and, it's, and I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. this is what we need to be talking about. Right. Because I went live. I don't know if you seen my live the other day. I was I, I be I really trying to put my supporters on, mm-hmm. bro. Right now in Texas, you see what's going on. We're gonna go into a, this is gonna happen. Little you know now, I'm telling you, so you gonna be you, know, you gonna be it gonna fuck you up, right? Cause it's all gonna happen. I'm just I'm ready to see it happen because the only people that's scared is the ones that know that they time is over with. Mm. The woke ones like me, we ain't scared at all because mm-hmm. we already know we saved. Mm-hmm. We just gotta do what we gotta do, you know what I'm saying? To protect our families and stuff. Right. And the ones who don't wanna listen, we just can't save them. Mm. Bro, a civil war is gonna happen in the US. Countries are already right now coming together to get ready to send missiles and everything over here. That's that's rule number one. Mm. Biden is trying to let all these immigrants in because what they're trying to do is they're going to use these immigrants to try to train them to go to war to fight. Wow. But it's not going to happen. And the and the, and the governor in Texas, that's why he's not allowing it. So they're trying to build a wall. They're building the walls up to try to keep people out. But it's crazy because Biden got his people coming to the, to the border to try to help fight and do all this. But when they live, it's all this is in the Bible. If you go, I got, I got it all written down. I got it all written down in, in the houses. I got all the scriptures written down where it's showing you everything that's happening right now. Yeah. So it's like if you don't believe, you're a fool. I say a fool is a person that see but still don't believe. Mm-hmm. If you, it's here. <laughs> you can't mm. run from it. Mm. And it, God said that He gonna. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. I got it right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on the show. Right. I'm gonna put it on the show because it, it, take your time. It's right, right, right here. It's right here. In those days. And at that time, when I restored the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I would gather all nations and bring them down to the valley mm. of uh, Joseph, Josephat. There I would put them on trial for what they did to my to my inherit, inheritance, my people, Israel, because they scattered my people among the nations mm. and divided up my land. They cast lots for my people and traded boys for prostitutes and sold girls for wines to drink. Mm. Why you think everything coming up by Jeffrey Epstein now and that list with all the mm. names on show, it? Show it to the camera. Oh, what, yeah. what, what Bible verse is it? So this right here is uh, Joel, Joel 3 and 1. Joel 3 and 1. 3 and 1. Okay. And, um, That's why that Epstein stuff coming up. And... Every, because, bro, all of these high-end celebrities, they all had something to do with 
the kids, the prostitutes, bro, like everything. Mm. That's why all everything is falling right now. It's falling right in front of our face, but the social media is where it's keeping everybody blind. Mm. So they, that's why they keep pushing out these rappers. Mm. I don't want to call their names and stuff, but I will call their names. Fuck that. Nas, X, all of them, Sexy oh. Red, all of these people. Mm. Listen, exactly what they are doing, God said it was going to happen. You just ain't know who was going to be doing it. Mm. Don't get mad when you see that. Like, I can't believe that this person doing. No, he's doing it exactly what God said. So he is one of the people that God used. That they do is they pray on the kids because if it's easy to control a kid versus easy to control love. You ain't gonna mm, fool me. Mm -hmm. But it's easy to get a kid. They like a sponge. They soak up in. Mm. That's why when they first came out, if you go pay attention. Go look at Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, she's the money. Uh, Nas X. If you go pay attention, a lot of them go see how they uh, and, and Billy, 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 Billy. What is Billy Ellis? Mm -hmm. Never name is. You see how they started their career, they all got around the kids. They were all old little kids. And now they all pushing out the money, satanic shit. It's, it's, it's all in our face, man. So uh, that's what's really going on. And it, it get deeper than that, but that's what's really going yeah. on. It's a lot going on right now that people are not aware of. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get this out so people can wake up. Because it's like, bro, wake up, boy, it's too late. Yeah. Because he coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 100%. Yeah, so. I, I feel it. Yeah, I receive you know, it today. Mm. God damn, I like this. Damn, this is a good episode right here. I mean, man, it's this, this episode to save lives. That's what it's meant to be for. I like that, brother. I yeah. preach, man. Damn, you ever thought about being a preacher? You know what's so crazy, bro? No, <laughs> no, 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 literally, literally right. you know, it's so crazy. Not a preacher, but a motivational speaker. That's my goal. That's my next goal. You after. can do that. I know for a fact. I do it already, so I'm like, okay, right. I, I might as well do it for real. Yeah, yeah. I do it every day. That's all I do, man. I go live, and, you know, like, I have fun, but I always like to just spread information. Of course. And, Speaking you know, engagements. Yeah, so that's that's my goal, man. Um, yes, sir. That past the music and stuff. Like, the music is just another outlet for me. And right now, I would mess people's heads up because you listen to my music now. It's all lit for me. I got to tell my story, but what people don't know. That's what I was going to ask you. What you putting in your rap music that making you be different from the other rappers? Because you starting to rap right now, right? Yeah. Um, well, basically right now, it's just my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking about my life. And I'm, I'm very strategic with everything I do because I understand social media. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a certain way you got to grasp the people's attention. I understand. So at first, like, you know, some You got to put out the bullshit. Exactly. But even though it's, not, even though it's, not, it's still not even bullshit. I ain't going to call you shit. No, 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 yeah, no yeah, what yeah. I'm saying is, it's, you got, you, you right, you got right. to put out the bullshit, but what I'm saying to you is, even when I'm putting out, it's still not bullshit. Yeah. Because the only thing about it is, I used a beat to get them, because I know what type mm. of beat, like, they like. Mm -hmm. But my lyrics, not on, my lyrics ain't on no crazy stuff, my mm. lyrics is my life. Mm. But, this is where all the value is. These are all raw freestyles. I started doing music just last year, bro, no year for last. I just thought, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Damn. Didn't even know I was this talented, bro. I, all these are freestyles, like, off Damn. the dome. Bro, Damn. the whole year, like the whole year 2022, bro, I don't know what was going on. I just went through something. This lady came, I just started, then when I started taking music here. Yeah. If you, this here, bro, bro, I'm telling you, I'm, we'll go, listen, you hear some of the stuff I'm saying. I'm going to check you out. You, I'm be like, check you, out. you, you won't believe I'm, I'm speaking on certain stuff bro, I'm saying. Because I, it'd be hard for me to listen to any of this rap music really All nowadays. All this shit trash. I mean, I really hear it for the beat. And if I'm lit, you know, I hit a beat, yeah. but I don't never listen to the words. And mm -mm, mm -mm. It's like, because you, you inviting that shit in in your subconscious. Exactly, bro. You bringing all that energy into your right. soul. Right. Like, and there's a lot of people out here that, that got good music, but, bro, majority of them, they in, in, once they go through them labels and stuff, it's over with. Yeah. All right. So we almost done with the business side, the spiritual side. Then we're going to get into either you're married or you're single. Oh, you know, we're going to get into the relationship side of to. things. All right. Uh, first, but I want to ask you this. Do you meditate? Of course. Bro, it's I don't probably med meditated like five times in my life, and I experienced bliss, but I will never go back and do it. I don't know it, what the fuck be wrong it, with me. It, it, it's just about just becoming consistent on it, you know, making it something in your everyday life, because at the end, I give you game. Do it for 21 days consecutive, and you ain't going to miss it no more. Mm. You do it, so you do it every day? Every day. How many, how many minutes you do? Uh, it depends on you. It, it depends on you can do 5, 10, 20, 30. It's all about, like, how you... What you, it, it, you would you know, yeah. you would know. You get in the I position. Can't tell, yeah, because I can't tell you. Yeah, you, you yeah. get a position or I do it in the shower, bro, or, mm. you know, go outside. How you, you do it in the shower? Just close your eyes? Bro, I just or? close my eyes. I just, I just like, 
speak. I just, because I love the water. I just love the shower. And that's when you manifest. I've seen somewhere you manifest stuff quicker oh, with oh, the water. Yo, bro, it's different. That's why I love the ocean. That's why I'm close to Miami. That's why I came to Miami, bro. Me too. <laughs> that's one of my reasons. That's why I, I hate I didn't come here sooner, for real. I, bro, I wanted to come, but my ex was holding me back from coming. Ah, uh, we going to get into that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and so, I'm here now, though. So you meditate. And last question on the business and spiritual side. <clears throat> which I feel like you already answered. What do you feel your true purpose is in life? Like I say impact lives. Yep. My true purpose is to spread the word, yep. you know, and, and, and help save souls because that's what God wants us to do. Exactly. At the end of the day, you know, spread love and positivity. Yes, and, sir. Um, and over my life, I just know that he gave, he didn't give me this audience for no reason. Yeah. I hear that. And most people get an audience, but you know, they just be so fascinated with being famous, but what are you going to do with that? Not audience? doing shit. Nothing positive. <laughs> you know, that's but, that's where it comes between the line. What are you gonna do with the audience that you have? I got millions of people that know me. What I want to be known for? Mm. I want to be known for core change my life, and that's a lot of people that come up to me to this day. Seeing that out, bro. every day, I'm people that they come up to me and tell me how I changed their life. And it be crazy. Like it just happened last night, what two nights ago? That's amazing. Man was in prison. He out. He I saw him. He was like, bro, I, I watched him in prison. He was like, I was looking for some. Mm. I was looking for somebody to watch this. Yeah, they can relate to. Yeah, he yep. said you was the one. Yep. And he said, man, you changed my life. And it was a grown ass man, bro. I get this all the time though, but I'm used to it now. But it's, yeah. still, it's still that's because I'm aware this this is what I'm doing. This, I know this yeah. what I'm doing. Hundred percent. You feel me, man? I'm I'm glad you said that. I had a uh, I did a video with this guy Peter Santanello. It's on YouTube. It's probably got like four million hits now. We did it about a right. year ago. Yeah. Congrats on that, man. Man, I appreciate it. We was in my other Maybach, and he was interviewing me. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in my old Maybach? Other Maybach. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like that. And, and I'd say, a lady told me that I stopped her from killing herself. Mm -hmm. And she was, she was, she had um, put on YouTube something about F this life or forget this life. I'm going, something to, to, yeah, to kill know. herself. But my video ended up popping up and she didn't know it because she had walked in the kitchen to go get a water. This is all what she told me. She went in the kitchen to go get a water and her pills. <clears throat> to to overdose. overdose and when she came back to the living room i was playing on the video wow. and so she says she sat there with the pills in her hand the water in her hand and she watched the whole video and then she ran it back it's like a 35 30 minute video she ran it back and then she just decided to put it down for that night and think about it hmm. and then the next day she said she decided not to do it hey, deep. and she ended up calling me about it and we talked, you know, I was getting so many calls when the video happens. I wasn't really, I was like, I'm glad I helped you and all that. But then after I left, me and my family was at Juicy Crab one night and we was walking out and she heard my voice. She was there at Juicy Crab. She was like, it's Trey? That's God. That's God. And she was like, I'm the one that called you and told you you stopped me from killing myself. And That's crazy. So the impact that we given is greater than what we what we know i'm okay. like we don't know who needs to hear this but i'm just so glad that i god put it in me to create this podcast god put it in you to come in and yeah. speak that real shit and to help benefit others man and and also if you're going through depression and anxiety and stress none of that shit is real bro none of it it's, it's only real if you give power to it <laughs> and say that you have it you know what I'm saying? Because you can change your mental. Can that, that's one what we're in control of. We are in control of our mental. That's the only thing. Our mental and our actions. Mm -hmm. You're not even controlling your body because you you ain't controlling your heartbeat. One thousand percent. You feel me? So 1, you change. You, you stop saying you stressed and you got anxiety and depression. The shit ain't real. It's only real if you give power to it. What you put so out. You, what you put out there, Jay, that's what you're gonna get. Exactly. You gotta speak positive of your life. There you go. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a witness of that, bro. You know, I want to kill myself. I'm a, I, you know, I want to kill myself before, bro. Too. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, bro. Not you. Yeah, bro. I'm a, uh, I, I did mean, not expect for you to say that. Yeah, yeah, like I was. It was before I blew up on YouTube, though, bro. Like, um, yeah, but I've been through some shit in life, what, bro. Was, was it from the bullying and, and shit, or what, what? What? That and then, bro, I was just, I was just tired. I remember, I remember, bro. I was just, I was younger. I was like, um, 15, 16 at the time when I bleed. 15 or 16. I was 16. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, I had an ex, man. And I was just tired of life. My mom wasn't treating me like, my mom was just treating me like I just didn't matter at the time. You feel me? And I, it was just like, I felt like I was just alone. I felt like I was being heard, bro. Mm. My granddad don't even know this. So if he see this, I hope, I hope he don't. But if he do, he do. I went to his house and I had my ex with me. 
uh, one, one of my exes, the girl I was dating at the time, and she didn't even know what was going on. I was just tired. But I was just, like over, bro. Yeah. And I went in his closet and I got his gun, bro. And I was like, you know what, bro? I'm tired of this shit. Like, I was really just crying over it, bro, because I just can't take it no more. And I put the gun to my head and I was gonna pull the trigger and she snatched that bitch from me, bro. The ex. Yeah, she, the girl snatched it. She to the day she she saved my life. She snatched it from me. Get the fuck out. Yeah, of bro. And I just sat down. She stopped me. I was mad. I got angry. I was mad. I just can't do this no more, bro. Like, y'all, y'all got it. Like, y'all don't need. I wouldn't. What age was you? What age? Sixteen. Sixteen, bro. Yeah, and then, and then one time I, I tried to rock the road. One time I killed myself. I was, and that was with a girl, weak ass mind, weak minded. I was younger, but God damn. Yeah, bro. I was tired. She, she could. You'll be amazed, bro, with people, with people that the, the energy that people can put on your heart. Yeah. When you try your best to do the person, and they just. You know, just push you off, and they just playing with you, though, but they push you off. I was going through, I experienced at a young age already with the girls and shit, bro. And, yeah, but so, you know, when it comes down to it, I always thank God every day, you know, that I'm still here because, like you just say, bro, that, that, that's that's what you put in your mind. Yeah. And that's a weak person. Mm. You weak. Mm. You weak as fuck if you think about going that route. And when, when you say you want to kill yourself and you want to quit, you weak. Mm. So every time you think about doing that, just just, just go in the mirror and look at yourself and say, I'm a weak person. Mm. And then we'll go... You, you have to look at life different. And you know what's crazy? I be thinking people that is, is, is thinking about contemplating, I feel like they're some of the strongest individuals because you know, to take your life, I'm scared as fuck of dying. I, I, I'm, I ain't gonna say I'm scared that much scared, now I'm still scared, but. You never be scared to die though, bro. I know, cause I hear we, we wake up when we, we really live, we, when we, we pass. We, we never die. But I don't want to feel that damn pain, you know what I mean? Well, no, nah, of course you know. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, so, of course. <laughs> but I think people that want to take their life are some of the strongest, or, or thinking about taking their life are some of the strongest individuals because for you to be that tough. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You know, that's a, I but know no, I'm no, tough. No, 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 you strong when you do it. Cause you did it, you like, God damn, boy, you had to be going through, but. Just the thought of it, yeah. you're weak. Mm. Because, you, because you're trying to find an easy way out. Uh, it's easy. Is it? It's even, if I just take my life, if I, if I take nothing but no, 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 it's hard. Yeah. But think about it, it's only hard when you get ready to do it. If a person takes it, like, however you do it, oh, once you take it, you're gone. But you ain't gone, you gonna live it. But right. It's, it's like. But you don't know what's on the other side. No, you don't know where you're going. But, but your people, they you love weak, you. But you're weak because it's like you think that's the easy way out. I'd uh, rather, I'd, I'd rather die than rather have to deal with. With, with life right now, uh, even though what you're going through is gonna make you stronger and get to where you're trying to go. Yeah. But you, you, you too weak to see that. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, so, so it's like that. That there, you know. Always, I think about a lot of that stuff, and I don't never talk about that, bro. You be mad how people don't know I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I, 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 I would never thought that because the way you talking, mm. bro. But that means that you but put like, your for like, reason. Like, like I say, if I never, if, if I would have did, I would have never been able to talk like this. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I would never be able to hear the story. And, and, and see, and when you living in your true light and in your passion, you impact others. Oh, just like you want to change a million people's lives. Right. And now you can, now part of your journey, you can start talking to the people that contemplate and talk Now you can yeah, relate to them. Nah, faction. Because that's big. That's you know, so I'm glad you did it. You know, I'm no, glad course, you're here. I'm glad you're here dropping knowledge yeah, on Maybach yeah. Conversations because you're going to impact a lot of other people lives who has who, who's thinking about it right now right you know or or in the and, future in the time right now and, and right now bro a lot you, you, you we see her talking right now bro and it's just funny i'm saying i don't know why but you'll be amazed bro how many people right now is ready to go because of they can't take what's happening right now mm. because we are living in a different time from two years ago yeah the, yep. the, the, the tables are changing and i just you know what's so funny man i put that on my stories the other day I don't know if you see my story. I just said in my story, I was like, if y'all don't wake up, it gonna be. And I was like, it gonna be, what's gonna happen in this real? A lot of y'all gonna wanna die, but you're not going to be able to die. Mm. And it's in the Bible, God said, He said, the people that was from the, from the experience they're gonna experience are one gonna die from the locust that's gonna come, but you ain't gonna, you got, you're not gonna die. He, you gonna, you gotta, he gonna make you live through. It. Damn. It deep. Damn. We we put the, we put it out there for everybody with anxiety, depression, thoughts. Get rid of that shit. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you, you. Everybody got an understanding, got light in their heart, and you are meant to be here for a reason. No matter how many people on this earth, God put everybody here for a reason. Everybody on this earth got a purpose to 100%. serve, and it's up to you to find that purpose. Damn. Right. A lot of people just not serving their purpose because they're not aware of it, they're not waking up to it. But if you become aware of it, wake up to it, you'll yeah. be one percent different than everybody else. Goddamn right. Let me tell you how to help find your purpose. To find your purpose, or to find what it is you love doing. That's what I'll talk about. 
write down 10 things that you love doing. I don't give a fuck what it is, if it's just eating, traveling, whatever. What you love to do, write them down, the top 10 things, and then you take the top three and you start creating a successful business behind it. And if you feel so strongly about just one that you feel like that's what you meant to do, you create a successful business behind that one thing. And here's the kicker someone has already created a successful business behind all 10 of them mm-hmm. things that you write down. Mm-hmm. It's already been done. Ain't no reason why you can't do it. And you're going to be the best at it because that's what you love doing. But when you write these things down, don't think about money. Just think about what you love doing. Bam. And that, with that, we're going to move on from the business and the spirituality. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get into the relationships. Some a lot of people go through. <laughs> My brother. All right. Are you single, married? What's going on? I got married at age 18. You got married at 18? Yeah. Damn. I've been married since the age of 18. Uh, I'm currently married now, just getting ready to go through a divorce. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, it's not a good life, bro. I tell you, I don't want people because it's like, bro, shit, I'm happy. <laughs> you you but, happy now? Because, you know, it's just what I've been through, you know. And yeah. um, long story short, I got married at the age of 18. Didn't find out till this year that my wife knew for a fact that she was not a citizenship and that she knew that she was looking to marry somebody no. for US papers. No, so you think you was getting used? I didn't think and she admitted it. I, I got a video of her saying that she was drunk. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, bro. It, it's deep it's deep in what you So think. one never know real love. It had to be I, some I, real I, love. I say and I, and I'm gonna be real, bro. I ain't gonna say it's an old and never, but yeah. It it came real. Who who went who went fall in love with a person they see they protect their fucking life? Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. That's probably <laughs> then, why I'm still single. And, and, and then on top of that, and then on top of that, the whole time my heart pure. Mm. I did this, I did this out of pure. I was genuine. Like I really love you. I really care for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like just to find out seven years later with two kids. Mm. Uh yeah, my mom, my mom, was my mom go with me to marry a, a U.S. citizen because I've ever been a immigrant or whatever. Mm. You know, and then on top of that, on how we broke up, mm. it was manifested. It's my, this ain't too much for the show, so we they want they want to find out to go to YouTube, <laughs> but me and you talking about that, but yeah, it's right. just, you know, I've been married since I was eighteen, you know, and um, I tell people, you know. Relationships are beautiful. At the end of the day, you know, yeah. you can, you'll be a maid, but you can be with a partner. That just that just simple. I'm never gonna take away from that. Never gonna try to discourage that. But it's like you know, everybody's situation is different. So I just always put the real out there. Like I built a career with this girl, helped her change her life. I gave her all the knowledge that she got now that she's doing whatever. But you know, when I saw that, damn, like you had a mask on all the years, bro. Yeah. You know that 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 would hurt. You know what I'm saying? That that way. That way, that way, take away because people look at what I did in the past. Oh, you cheated, you did that, bro. I'm not perfect. I'm young. I'm young money, like, bro. That's shit, that's shit gonna happen, you know. But it wasn't nothing. It was never nothing that I did intentionally. Like, yeah. people don't be in your life to see the real life things, the arguments, what you go through. Then you know, you get mad as a man, and we get weak minded and go do all the dumb shit to just try to get our emotions out. But you gotta grow through that. Yeah. Like I tell people, and one of my OGs is what changed my perspective on me becoming a better man. He say, you got two heads. And he said, if you think with the second head, you a weak man. Mm. He said, you got your brain, you got your dick. Mm-hmm. He said, if a man think with his, if a man dick, if a man think with his dick over his brain, he's a weak man. Mm. And I, he told me that, I had to say, I was like, mm-hmm. okay, damn, I'm mm-hmm. not weak, bro. And I'm not weak. I hated that. When he told me that, bro, I couldn't stand that. Mm-hmm. And that's what made me change. My perspective, my perspective on how I do certain things, mm. because it's like, damn, who, who are you? You, you, you a man that walk around thinking with your penis, or you can think with your brain. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking with my penis a lot at the time because when I get mad or something, you feel me? All this, and at the end of the day, you know. But I wasn't that bad. Like, people make it seem like it was just horrible. It never was that horrible. Yeah. In the, the internet, just people always came out. When you famous, bro, you will get all type of people that are trying to chase you for clout, attention, and you views and stuff. So yeah. But that never overcame. Oh, they never ever done the love I had and the impact that I caused into this relationship. So, yeah, you know, I, I left in October. I had it was just time for me to leave because she wasn't ready to surpass to the next level with me. Mm. And on top of that, she was already doing weird shit. Mm. And so I just knew that it was time for me to go, bro. And I and I left. And um, yeah, bro, the actions speak louder than the words, bro. You yeah. go back and see what's going on right now. You'll see who really who. Okay, you'll see who really. You know. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I just take, you know still go for it though. Let me ask you this. How, because you was married, you still are, still are. 
how is it compared to single life? Well, oh. well, but it was so you so young though. You got married at eighteen. It's kind of hard to ask you these questions. Yeah, yeah bro. Cause do you? <laughs> do, Cause you you've been successful for a long time. Is it? Do you notice a difference in the married life compared to the single life? Oh, of course. Like I mean. Well, it, it it would be different too, though, bro. Because at the end of the day, most people would think that I'm young, I'm I'm, I'm successful. All he can get integrated, he won't. It, it fucked me up, bro. Mm. Little you know, now I and I'm, this is the first time I ever tell anybody. That I'm standing on your show, bro. It, mm. That fucked me up because now, bro, I look at every woman that they want something after me. They 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 come in to get something after me, and I'm cool. I don't want to be in a relationship. Mm. I might be single, like, cause I know in my heart I could change any female life that come through me. Yes, sir. I feel the same way. And it's like I know that for yeah. a fact. And but it's it, like, go ahead. But on. it's like, what's your intention now? Hundred percent, thousand. God damn it! <laughs> what's so? Uh, and because you'll be amazed how they can put on a fucking mask, bro. Bro, women, you'll be amazed, bro. As a man, we only get loved by what we can do, what we can provide. Seriously. When a woman can come in and not do a damn, damn thing. Man. We come and in, you just, change your whole life. Right. You just come out with her one night. Oh, who is her? Oh. And put you on game. Woo -woo. And like, but you know, I'm gonna be real though. I gotta be real. One thing, you know, one thing I I, I stand on just being real, bro. I understand it. I can't take away from the women out there that's not like that. Yeah. But yes. but but what, 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 what they yeah. say, but what it but, ain't what, everybody. But but what they say though, it take one alpha. <laughs> Take <my album>. Right. <laughs> Rid the whole bunch, bro. See, my thing is, I don't be wanna like all that dating shit nah. and, and talking on the phone. Like, I, I'm very trying to build valuable of my. I, I, I focus on my time. I don't like to waste my motherfucking time. Can't so get it back. Can't get it back. The majority of the time, you sitting here talking on the phone with these. It's all women, be wasting time. Cause wasting they, they, cause time. They, cause, because they don't have the same vision that we have. They don't have the intention that we have. They not. On what we on majority of the time. Most women just want to look for a good time while we trying to find a better life. We looking mm. to go and live a life and grow. You know, they want to just tag along. Mm. So it's hard to find a woman that can be a boss, you know, and mm. actually bring value to the table. Yes, sir. Because that's where the real love come in that, you know. And I feel like I got that right now with my best friend. Mm -hmm. Like, we ain't in a relationship. I'm not looking to be in a relationship, but God put her in my life for a reason because she definitely came and balanced me. Yeah. And I see what I can have. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But mm. it's like, I got like I'm like I'm like nah I ain't rushing into no no nah, I'm cool. I don't so know. your best friend is a woman. Yeah, my my sister. She, she actually my sister. Damn. Yeah, I met her, bro. If my story was crazy, if I tell him I'm gonna tell y'all camera. You gonna be like what? You gonna be like what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, it's crazy, bro. It's wild, but yeah. yeah so I mean, it, it's a good woman. It's definitely a good woman out here, though. Yeah. I, I can definitely it, vibe it for is. that. It is. But once you just go through that adversity, bro, you know you don't waste time no more. It's like nah, I'm cool. It's just tough, man. Cause they they always telling us to apply pressure. And all this, but what are they doing? Like, and, and, and it ain't even got to be, like, I don't know. I kind of blame myself, too. Though. I don't want to put it all on the women because when you are a successful single man, you have so many options. Yeah. And when you're trying to Scope. goddamn Scope choose all. one, it's like, how the hell I choose all of them? Now they got all the, and the damn women got all the damn surgeries and the makeup and the face filters and it's the hair. It's hard to find natural. Right, like, like goddamn. Nah, you own something. The more natural you are, the better, baby. Like, like, like. One thousand percent. When I feel like a fake dude, sometimes I got a woman that got a fake ass, fake titties, and fake, like, fake they, this. Yeah, like, this is not you. Exactly. What are, like, that ain't you. You, you know? did all this to pull me. You know what I'm saying? You like, like you, you can't fool you, me with being you, then, then, then that ain't right. you. Right. I'm cool. You, you doing all this to either impress yourself, impress the other ladies, or to feel good about yourself? I don't know, but, like, man, the more natural, the better. And I ain't judging nobody Not who's getting all. it and getting all that shit done, but women just know that the more natural you are, the better. Put it like this, bro. It's the best thing you can put it, because they're going to they gonna help women. They're going to help a lot of women on your, on your show. Okay. It's never wrong with getting surgery. I'm going to tell you why. You had braces? Nah, I had braces. Oh, I had braces growing up. I, I got braces, right? My teeth wasn't out, and I did not got my veneers. Mm -hmm. But when I got my braces, that was that was such a was cosmetic, and cosmetic. Like I had to get braces to make my teeth look better, right? Yeah. All right, cool. But I ain't do no no crazy shit. If a woman want to get surgery, make her body, she not happy with her body. That's cool. I understand that. Do it where it look natural, though. Yeah. 
they go too far. <laughs> when you go too far, it's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can agree with that. I can I, agree I, with because that. Because I just see it. Like, okay, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna tell you why. Because with my with my ex wife, she ain't got a BBL. Yeah. She, she, I mean, I, I got a full whatever. Hers look natural as hell. Mm -hmm. That's why she looks so good. It's natural. Mm -hmm. like, she ain't, I ain't let her go too far. I want to just bright. And but. You be seeing other women, but you see it. You can you, you can just tell. See it from my with my life. girl, you with my ex, you really can't tell she had surgery. Yeah, she just looked that damn good. It go my thing too. <clears throat> I'm gonna just say it because I, I just want to say it. Be blunt. All that damn makeup killing me kills me. Man, nobody want to see all that caked up, especially when the face different from the neck. You get <laughs> well, I be so bad. You a two tone. I'm like, bro, you two tone. <laughs> And this, but this yeah, is the one. This is the one that kills you, though. Yeah. When you get to the crib and you take that shit off. Oh no! He's like, who is you? Yo. All right, all right. So, <laughs> women, you got the, you got the hair, you got the makeup, you got the eyelashes, Too much. you got the contacts, Too much. you got the lip fillers, Too much. you got the fucking fake titties, you got the the ass oh. and and whatever else. But I ain't judging you. Not at all. Just try to do it. As a minimum, but when you, when you and and here's this double standard. It's, it's so many double standards with women. I can't stand it. They can have all that fake shit. Nigga, most he gonna do is just get his teeth done. That's it. <clears throat> all right. A woman can get a whole body done and, and fake fake all this fake ju even jewelry. Even jewelry be fake. Fake jewelry, clothes cheap as, but do all that. And then be want to be bougie and want a real nigga. At bougie, and like, and like, I gotta come to you. And say, what, what the fuck wrong with you? Right. <laughs> when I'm coming at you in the most natural way oh, as possible, man. besides a tea job, and you come with all that, like, mm -hmm. baby, you gotta humble women. I'm just talking to the women that let all that shit go to their head. Humble yourself, you, baby. You know they don't like the truth, right? Nah, I, you know, and I, they don't never take responsibility I, I, for their actions. I just, they, I just want you to know that now. And women, stop blaming everything on men. Like, I, you, you the first dude I had on him single right now, so I can kind of pop my shit Pop your shit bit. hard, because I'm singing in the motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, because, I, because a lot of women on the internet, they love me, but they hate me too. Because I keep it authentic. I'm going to tell you Man. what it is. I'm, I don't care about your feelings, love. I'm going to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not one of the guys who come here and sugarcoat with you. You don't like me, you, I'd rather you not like me because I said something real that you couldn't take. Exactly. Rather you not like me because I did some fake shit, some false shit. And it's really a real message. Just be comfortable in your own mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. Like, you ain't got to do all that. As men, we don't really care about all Somebody that. Somebody going to love you for who you are at the end of the day. Thank you. It's just simple. Thank you. I think they be in competition with each other, though. The most definitely all the time. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Competition is what the kids a lot of the, the ego inside these women, bro. All right, so we're going to get back onto the marriage talk because you still are married. Well, you were married. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. You still went through tough times. How did you endure those tough times when you were married? Man, just just knowing what I had, what I, what I wanted, you know, what, what it was when it first started. Well, 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 well. What I thought it was when it first started. Mm. You know, and like, bro, let me tell you something. We had to be real at some point. Now. It was real for sure. Yeah, okay. Let me tell you something. Bro, what most women don't know about me, bro, I had changed, bro. I came, she'll tell you. My ex, my ex will tell anybody before him because they don't know, but she know. She'll tell everybody, this man has changed. He did it. He, 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 he went through everything he went through, but he's young with a lot of money, what you expect. Yeah. But what, what she can admit to is that I was changing drastically. Like, I never was that guy that just don't give a fuck off oh, and fuck the woo woo. Like, and you know, I go through stuff, I do stand out, look back, all right, you right, baby, like, woo woo. So I changed drastically, bro, and I was becoming a better, and I did become a better man. And it's crazy how life feels, bro. Like, why is when the woman leave that when you become a better man for the next one? Mm. Now, I don't know, you know, sometimes. You learn, you learn from the mistakes, mistakes you know, and, and most people, most women judge you from the mistakes and they hold on to that. Mm. Why hold on to something that that you agree that you could give a guy and then you see a guy change but you just get mad when that comes to your head and you move off that emotion. Like that ain't the same me, that ain't you. Why you mad at why you still acting like I'm that guy, I'm not that guy no more? I'm here now trying to better you, I'm trying to better me, I'm trying to better us, but you still stuck on the past. Bro, listen. Women, women to get mad at me for me just posting girls on my story. Like what like, like, we ain't even know relationship. Are we committed? Right. Why are you mad because I'm posting this girl on my page? Yo, what are you? Let me, let me tell you. Let me let me say this on your page. <laughs> what I hate because most women don't be real, bro. What you doing? 
God, right. we don't ask them right. who you talking to. Cause they, they ain't gonna never post the dude. They ain't never they ain't post gonna it. never post what they, they really smart. doing. They, they smart. smart. They but smart. if we post, we we cool. We we us, like man. Yeah. We like we like fucking. Like, we, we know what I'm saying. We got a bad girl. Like, yeah, y'all see, you got a bad girl. You yeah. right now. Ooh, yeah. She my friend or whatever. Girls not gonna post them. And I'm I've seen it. They can't. I don't give for what they say. My it, she doing it right now. Yes, she doing it right now. Listen, let me tell you how I know. Cause I don't pay attention. I don't care. Like I got two boys by her, yeah. and she won't let me see my kids. So that's the only thing oh, that I'm dealing fun, with right man. now. Yes, yeah, I haven't seen my kids since October, bro. And I've been in my boy's life since they was born, both of them. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? So that's something I'm dealing with right now. So man, you know. But I got other people that's around me that follow. The, they follow the people that she be around. And they be posting on their page, and I'm seeing them. Or she in the club, drunk, she with this nigga, she with that nigga. And I'm just like, she just doing everything she said she'll never do, boy. Mm -hmm. And like, little you know it or not, they think that the, the guy you bought, you embarrassing yourself, love. Because mm -hmm. I'm elevating mm -hmm. while you up here looking crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you should be valuing yourself. But the fact that you where you at, you're not valuing yourself, that just speaks, so that shows who you really are. Mm -hmm. So no matter what a female say, most females gonna side with females because that's what they like to do. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, when you know, it, when you know that you elevate a life, you can't put your energy into that. Yeah, for That's sure. That's why they where they at right now. For sure. And and the craziest part is, they be the ones they get mad at me for posting girls or girls shaking their ass or whatever. But next thing you know, that's what they around. They the ones that shaking they their doing ass. It. And they around the girls. They when they post the shit, they posting the same shit. Contradicting the hell out of themselves. We, I, that just like, we ain't gonna talk about these girls on these girls trips. Oh, but well, you boy. know what they do when on these girls trips when oh, women take these. Boy. And women just dancing with each other and oh, all that, like boy. it, like it's just not like Listen, it. They just I, that's why I'm glad that I did what I did at a young age. You know, even with my girl, you know, I can speak on it because but we we had the threesomes and we did <laughs> so we had fun, we had fun. Mm -hmm. But when, but what that did was that opened me up into their world mm. to see who they really are mm. and what they really do. Because mm. I didn't even like enjoy it anymore. Mm. I'll be real, y'all. The guy I ain't even like doing that shit. I'm like, I don't know. Even though I'm the one who brought it to the table, cause I'm like, man, I just, I just felt like that. I'm like, bro, I'm becoming a rapper now. You yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah. baby? Like, you know, we young and, and this, and this shit happening. So, mm. I was rather trying to like protect those. Like, baby, let's just be together. If we gonna do something, be together. Cause yeah. I don't want nobody come through us. But when I started doing, I started seeing how it go. I was the first one saying, yeah, I don't want this shit anymore. I can't do this. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, I'm cool. This ain't, this ain't what I thought it was. And, yeah. And she was yeah. enjoying it more than me. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So, so you know, when it comes out to women, man, they don't like the truth, man, but the truth is the truth. You gotta just accept it. And, uh, I feel like just something in life, man. One thing in life, sometimes everything ain't gonna go how you want it to go. Yeah. They ain't gonna always agree with you. So just stay true to yourself, bro. And once you true to yourself, you know who you are. Yeah. And God know who you are. God know what you, what you, what's in your mind. It's all that matter. I don't let none of this shit get in my head. Nothing. Right. Have you been dating in Miami? You been on a few dates? Oh, yeah, of course. But I mean, how, how's the dating life? Down here in the, in the it, it, it like I'm gonna be real with you, bro. As a man, if, if a man just going, I just want a good time, you know, just some entertainment. And it's cool. But yeah. if you run on a mission, bro, you got to go, bro. It's just wasting time. For sure, it's a waste of time, man. You feel me? Like it, it, it just your energy, bro. You can put your energy somewhere else. Like that's just me. Right. All right. Are you a planner? Cause these the women be like, plan something, plan something, plan something. Or do you do you plan? Yeah, I do. But you know, one thing about me, though, I always put the women up to the part two. Don't, don't try to put everything on me. Yeah. What you want to do? What you like to do? I hate a woman that come and they just want to just be under you because they just a woman that just want to be, she just want to be that. People don't pay attention to this. You got to pay attention to this. Mm -hmm. If you with a woman, she can't tell you what she want to eat at. She can tell you where she want to go. She can't, she can't, the, 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 she can't plan nothing, a surprise date or nothing. Right. That's just a woman that just leeching off you at the moment. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Why am I with a person that don't have no desires, nothing to do, nothing, you know. <laughs> They're going on dates, you know. Take take me out, please me or something. Like, yeah. just show me something. I even pay for it, just plan it. My thing be, <clears throat> for me, I'm not a planner anyway. So, I, yeah. I, my, I, I plan, for me, I plan like a day or two in advance. And that's be about it. I don't even do you that. Ain't, you, you ain't going to get too much planning out of me. When I say plan, all right, look, you want to go on a date night? Yeah. All right, oh, okay. Right. Like, right, find out, ooh, let's, let's go. Now sometimes, now, but when they come out, oh, they're going to date Thursday. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, nah, that ain't me. Man, because we be in this man. That's what I'm saying. A lot of times we can't do that because I've been to plan some Thursday and get a call, and I'm like, yo, this call is way more important than that date right now. I, I love you, babe, but 
this is an opportunity for sure. that we can't miss up right now. So for we sure. need to go, we need to go do that. They'll get mad. Right. Ah, oh, you would. But it's like, but but this 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 meat is gonna bring me a million dollars. And that's what I'm saying. Like we we focus on our business. If you we sitting here planning for business, you can say, hey, I want to eat here, or let's go here, or whatever. And and half the time when a man try to plan something, a woman may come back. I had an ex girl. I plan. She'll tell me the plans. So I plan it. And she's like, uh, can we go here instead? I'm like, what, what the fuck, fuck, what fuck am I what planning what for? Yo, no, it's over. Yo, and so now I, that, that probably till, that probably changed my name. Just wait, just wait till in the moment. Cause I'm the type of guy. That's too, how man. I am. Because it's like you might want that. You might want this today, but then when it yeah, comes, the next day, when yeah, the time, I want this. I want. I feel like something different. So whenever exactly. that day comes, just try to. And I say, bro, you gotta just be smart. Plan for the thing that you know that you need to plan ahead for. It's yeah. just that simple. If I wanna go to this restaurant, I know for a fact if I go there today, it will be packed. Yeah. And knowing packed. So okay, this is a restaurant that's always packed. That's planned ahead of time. But other than that, most things you don't gotta do all this shit, bro. It's just simple. All right, and then this, we we almost done. Ladies, I don't want to make you feel like I'm bashing. Yeah, we love we love the women. We, we love, love the women, of course. But, but we we love the right we love the right ones though. I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest with a single man. I couldn't talk like that with all my married guests. <laughs> I ain't want to get them in trouble. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. This is going to be one of my last questions to you, my brother. And it's been a pleasure. What do you feel like, a, what value should a woman bring to the table? All right. So if you're a working man and you, and you provide a lot, I feel like, a man want a woman that that's not gonna bring him too many problems, first of all. Yeah. Headaches, irritation. You want a woman that's gonna cook, clean, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna understand you, they're gonna they're gonna nurture nurture you, you feel me? Like basically just always keep you comfortable, keep you if, if my woman can keep me happy and keep me up the good, I keep I can keep all that. I can keep all that. Mm. Simple. Mm. If you can keep my if you can keep my energy high, you on a high vibration, mm. I can stand a high vibration. Now why I say this is if I'm the man, I'm working in the house, and I got everything under control. You don't gotta work as long as you do everything that I need you to do. Yeah. But if you a woman that wanna work on your own, all right, that's cool. Let's say that. Then you do what you do, but still be that wife. Mm -hmm. You know, be that woman that I need in my life. Other than that, if you wanna come bring me headaches, bring me problems, you know, um, irritate me, what reason I need you in my life? If people don't understand that, it's like a man don't want problems. We want problem solvers. We want problems from preventers. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of women come with problems because they just think that everything is about them. Mm. And at the end of the day, everything ain't about you, love. You feel what I'm saying? You play your role in my life and you got your part of my life. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of moving cycles around here that I have to keep going. Mm -hmm. I have to keep moving. So mm -hmm. I say, man, um, that that's that's a valuable woman. A valuable woman is a woman that can see your vision. Yeah, and she can she can apply herself to your vision mm. and, and it, enhance it exactly because mm. at the end of the day I'm gonna automatically enhance your vision mm. automatic off top too <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna enhance they're everything. gonna inspect it off top you know what I'm saying so so just help me enhance your and enhance mine then three six three six five mm. but it help me yeah you know and, and once you go that route I feel like you'll find a good woman but to the end mm. most women most women are gonna bring you problems and you know what's crazy. I just realized when you deal with a woman, her problems is your problem, and your problems and are your, your problems. One thousand percent. I'm glad you know. <laughs> Unless you got your real one. I'm glad. Unless you, you got, got your, your real, real one, going. Then, 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 then y'all problems are each other problems. There you go. But there you go. Most women, bro, your problem is your problem is her problem is your problem. It's very simple. That, that's, that's the way it go. They 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 think like that. They, they feel like that. They 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 agree to that. They think that's how it's supposed to be. They know. But we gonna lead. We gonna lead. A, we gonna finish out the episode on a positive note. So, my man Corey, I appreciate your blessing the podcast. So, what piece of information for for yourself, for a kid out there that want to be like you, or someone in jail or prison that want to be similar to you? What type of advice will you give the community out there to to be of your standards? Uh, first of all, I would say keep God first. You know, and I just keep God first. Make sure you put God in every situation that you're going through and let him speak to you. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to listen. They just want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Pray. Always pray. And whatever you want, you got to always know that whatever you want is already yours. Mm, that, that's that's that's, 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 the, that's, number one, that's the one 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 in, in the Project 369 book. Whatever you want is already yours. And once you become aware, aware of who you are, 
the world is yours. Simple. You know, God put everybody on this earth to serve a purpose and to be whoever they want to be. Mm. And it's up to you to do that. Mm. And um, I tell people all the time, just don't never get too carried away about what everybody else is doing because everybody else is on their own journey. Yeah. So you got to focus on your journey. <clears throat> yeah. And just understand everything that you're going through is meant for you to go through it to get to where you're going. Mm. So it's just like you got to become aware of that. Mm -hmm. Once you become aware of that, I feel like you'll be amazed who you can be. And just always take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. I tell you, take care of yourself, you know? Mentally, uh, physically, all emotionally, the way, all, all the way around. financially. All the way around. <clears throat> it, it, all, it all play a part in who you are. So it just, just obtain knowledge. Um, keep God first, that's number one. But obtain knowledge and be true to yourself. Follow your dreams. Chase whatever you want. Just know that whatever you want is out here. Like, he's out, like you said, you said something powerful today. Yeah. You said whatever you want to be, somebody already did it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and sir. what you did add on to that, what I want to add on to that, go get knowledge from the people. You don't got to talk uh, to them directly, but go study them people. Go study yeah. them. Study what they did. Yes. If somebody doing what you want to do in life and they successful, what make you think you can't do it? I just need to figure out how did you become successful. Right. Because it's all a mindset. Everything yes, is mindset. Yes, sir. And once you dig into your mind, you'll be amazed what'll come out. Hundred <laughs> percent. My brother, well, I appreciate it. Likewise. It's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. It's been another episode of Maybach Conversations. We got Corey here. Corey, did you tell them how you can find them? How they can find you? Corey SAG on every platform. Corey SAG. Find me on every, every platform. Corey SAG. If not, you can find me on my real name, Corey Pritchett Jr. There it is. Yes, sir. There it is. It's been another episode. We appreciate y'all logging out. <laughs>